welcome to Academics Plus. Our mission is to help make learning fun by engaging students through multiplayer gaming. Our educational games foster friendly competition and collaboration and challenge students in a way they appreciate. With Academics Plus, students can log in and play customized games created by their teacher and view video lessons on their most missed problems. Then teachers can view reports of student performance and customize new games to increase student learning. Let's go through the main sections of Academics Plus. The teacher dashboard gives quick access to the main features, student roster management, assigning custom games, and viewing performance reports. The class leaderboard lists students by achievement points they've earned, and the feedback box sends thoughts and questions directly to customer support. In the students section, you can enroll your students and create the usernames and passwords your students will log in with. You can enroll your students one by one or upload a spreadsheet roster by clicking the bulk upload button. Your spreadsheet needs to be saved as a CSV file and organized as shown here with the column headers first name, last name, username, and password in lowercase. Here is what your spreadsheet should look like. To make sure you have distinct usernames, we recommend adding your room number or teacher identifier to avoid overlapping with other usernames already in our system. To upload the spreadsheet, browse for it on your computer and click Upload and Continue. You will see your students listed. If there are any duplicate usernames, you can change them here. Click Confirm to enter the students into your account. Once your students are enrolled, you can put them into groups. You can assign these groups differentiated games. For example, you can have a group for your main class who are working on their multiplication table of fives and another group for your after-school class who are working on their nines. To group students, click on Create New Group and enter a group name and select students to put into that group. Then when you create a game assignment, you can assign it to that group. In the Assignments section, teachers can customize game content to match their lesson plans. To create a game assignment, click the Create New Assignment button. First enter the assignment name and then click the student group that you want to assign it to. Remember, you can create groups in the student section. Next, select when you want the game to be available We'll make it available for two weeks. Then choose the game content. You can filter the games by grade or subject. Now we will choose custom content to select which problems will appear in the game. You can set a range of problems for your students to work on, or if your class is working on the multiplication table of eight, you can make a game that only shows those problems. Since we want the eights, we'll select the eights column and the eights row. You can also deselect problems you don't want in the game, say eight times 12, and 12 times eight. I'll click OK. When you click Add Assignment, the game will show up in the student's homepage. Students log in at the login screen with the usernames and passwords you gave them. Then they'll see the games you assigned them. They select a game to play and earn achievement points based on their performance. The games will keep track of the student's most missed problems. Students can then click the play button to view a lesson video that models different solutions to these problems and then practice these problems in the games. As they play, their answers are recorded and sent to the teacher's reports. The reports display student performance scores in a useful way. The reports enable the teacher to monitor student progress and quickly diagnose problem areas in need of reinforcement. If the class is struggling with a particular problem, like four times seven, the class report will highlight the problem and the teacher can see which students need reinforcement. You can view reports from a specific time range and see reports by student, group, assignment, or game. The usage chart shows how often the students played, and the performance chart shows how well they did, with the vertical axis representing accuracy and the horizontal axis representing rate per minute. The item analysis chart shows which items are the easiest for the students, which ones are the most difficult, and which ones take the longest to answer. With the leaderboard report, students are listed in leaderboards by achievement points and also by race times. This can be used to conduct class contests and award performance. The trend line chart shows the growth of each student over time. If a student's performance plateaus or declines, the teacher can zoom in to find the problem area. This data can be used to adjust classroom instruction to address areas of concern. What's really cool about it is when we can show them the progress that they're making using the charts that are available on Academics Plus, you can see the student growth and the students love it. 
I use Academics Plus student reports to see, first of all, if they're playing or not playing. I also use the student overview and I can click on individual students and see their progress. And we really like to be able to look at the graph where you can see if their scores are going up and to see if they're doing a good job with their accuracy and their speed. Here at Academics, our fundamental philosophies are these. Students respond to challenge. Errors are just opportunities to improve. School could be fun and engaging. When students are engaged, great things are possible. We hope you enjoy using Academics. Plus, send any questions you have to support at academics.com. They will be quickly answered.